Sorry, I didn't want to put you in a sad mood. I'm here, it's 2.30 in the morning. I'm drinking an ice cold Big Gulp for 99 cents. They're on sale right now, so I had to have one. It's really late or early in the morning. I just came from Louis Offer's place. And uh, remember, I don't have a store anymore, so I don't have to go to bed and work tomorrow. And I'm sitting in my car right now and it feels weird because I don't have to work tomorrow. And I'm thinking, what should I do tomorrow? I have no clue what I'm gonna record. I'm starting the video right here and we'll see what the day brings. Um, I'm just chilling right now here at, in front of 7-Eleven, my usual place. You know what the funny thing is? When you smile, you can move your lips. <laughs> I'm just joking. You still can't move your lips. I just wanted you to smile for a second. So let's see what the day brings. I think uh, you see me in the morning. I'm not sure if they're coming or leaving. The Ghostbuster mobile right here, Ecto-1. Looks like they're leaving already. I missed them. Welcome to beautiful Calva City. I'm just in the heart of Calva City right now. This is the Calva Hotel. And right here are the Sony Studios. And this is the building they used for the movie Gone with the Wind. It's still here. And uh, I had no idea that I'm gonna film this today. I just walked out the door and my neighbor told me, Mike, they're having a car show today. So yeah, I know, another car show. I've done a couple ones not too long ago, but I'm in Culver City. This is my stomping ground. This is where the German in Venice lives. And I love this place and I wanna show you a little bit. Look how nice it looks with all those different colors here. Those are the Sony Studios. Culver City changed a lot over the years, but I would say for the better. Now you can walk around here. They got nice restaurants here. It's actually pretty busy on the weekend. They got Erewhon down the way. I never even went to any of those restaurants here. And that's where the Culver Studios are. Rumor has it that John Wayne won this hotel at one time from Charlie Chaplin for one dollar. They still have the suite, John Wayne suite up there. This is where the Munchkins stayed when they were filming. And look how busy this place is here. I never had the chance to come here on the Saturday and see what's going on because I was always working. There's a lot of movie history here. Stan and Ollie. They were standing right here. Wow. Yeah, like I said, the Munchkins were staying at this hotel when they're filming The Wizard of Oz. And this is why they have the display right here. What? I know this one was displayed at the Sony Studios right across the street right here. This is Jesse Pinkman and Walter Weiss. RV, that's where they cooked all their stuff in there. Remember in the desert? Can't believe it, it's right here. That's the one they use on the TV show. <laughs> wow. It even got some bullet holes in there. Remember from the TV when they actually shot the bullets in there? That's where they walked in and out right here. How crazy is that, huh? The guy just opened it up, but uh, they say because it's a Sony car, they're not allowed to have anybody stand in there or film anything inside. That would have been awesome. I tried, I tried. I mean, how cool would it be if he would have just let me film inside? They said no, because it's a studio vehicle. I mean, who really cares, you know? For people that love the movies and love stuff like this, you would have been happy to see this. I know this is actually on the studio lot and they don't let you film there either. So I tried, maybe one day. Walter White. They said I can film everything from the outside, so let's peek inside. Wow, the windows are a little bit too dirty. You can't really see too much. 
Look at this Batmobile here. Wow, I've seen it actually before at another car show. So this is always nice to see those beautiful cars here and the beautiful ladies. Wow, so right now the judges are trying to find out who's the winner. There's Jay Leno. I think I actually seen this car here in Beverly Hills where Jay Leno was there too when I did the car show in Beverly Hills. But I can't get enough of this car right here. Wow, Breaking Bad. How great is this? And here we have another Batmobile. Look at the colors, nice. I think this is the one from the TV show. Of course, the original one is probably at the Hollywood Museum. I've seen it before, but it's always nice to see even a replica. Really nice from the inside. Look at all the stuff here. Can't go wrong. Nice seats. Wow. Got the different Corvettes here. They had a car show last week also in Venice, but I didn't film that one. But I'm glad I came here today. Look at this Hot Rod, Chevy Hot Rod. Wow. I like how the color is all stripped. California. The chain steering wheel and the dice can't be missing. Huge motor block and I really like the flames on the side and the big pipes. Even that brown looking eggshell and look at that little white one right in, in between. What kind of car is that? I have no idea but it looks pretty sporty. Yep, yeah. lots of nice cars here. Look, he got a 3D camera here. This is absolutely incredible with the spark plots, Frankenstein, fire bed, and old Ford. Look how rusted it is with the wood panels. Wow, the lightning bolts. <laughs> how cool is this car, man? The checkers, wow. I've never seen that one before. Got a license plate right there in the middle. Everywhere license plates, man. Are you kidding me? <laughs> right when you thought you seen it all. Wow. And look how they actually welded the scar on there. The Frankenmobile. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And look at this, right next to it is the DeLorean time machine. You know how excited I always got when I seen a DeLorean before? But now I've seen so many really pimped out time machines from the movie that you kind of like, mm, yeah, it's a DeLorean, okay, but it's not the time machine. I'm not saying it's not exciting anymore to see a DeLorean, but it's a difference between the time machine and the regular DeLorean. Chevrolet, look how clean it is. It's almost like a mirror. Time machine right next to it. Wow. Beautiful cars here today. Really clean. And all this in the heart of Culver City. That's where the GIV always shops at Trader Joe's. Oh my goodness, I don't really have to show this van here because I've shown it at the pier already. And look who we got here. Greta is back with her like nice shirt right there. And look, that's the swim bike she's actually cruising around. Wow, you changed it a lot since the last time. You put all colorful curtains in there, orange. All right. You remember her, she wanted to take me uh, swimming nude, you remember? Uh, I think I'm gonna take a rain check on that one. Slab City. Orange crate, swim. Not a lemon peeler, orange peeler. One of those beach buggies, I believe. I'm not 100% sure. 
But look at this one. Most Americans don't even know what kind of car this is. This is a Citroen, and we actually grew up in Germany like this. My friend had one. This one shakes so much when you ride on the Autobahn. It's unbelievable. But this is an absolutely great condition. Look at this. It actually has the French flag in there because this was made in France, limited edition. And look at that paint job right here. But they call it the duck because the, the head looks like a duck's head. So, the enter in German, a Citroën, or Citroën. Man, I can't believe I know so much about cars. Not that I only get to meet really nice cars, but this is Carlos, one of my subscribers, and this is your car, I heard, right? That's right, 1950 Cadillac convertible, Santa Monica native in Culver City. Wow. Downtown. Enjoying it, enjoy watching you, watching us. Thank you very much, and now you're gonna be on the channel. Thank you so much. Look at this beautiful car right here. Thank you, GIV. All right. That also looks like a duck head from the front. Wow. I mean, it's just fun walking around. And definitely you have to clean your car all the time. If you have a beautiful car like this, it gets dirty just from the wind blowing on it. Ein deutscher Porsche, an old one too. Drove in that one as well. Probably was made in Stuttgart. Another pickup truck. Wow, absolutely crazy. I like those really small windows. I would be afraid to drive in there just to put some fingerprints on the dashboard here. Like I told you, Chevelle Cobra. Now I know my Cobras. I like this color actually a little bit better than the dark one. Those are all the stores here. Those places are all packed at night. Saturday night, you come here, this place is packed. You get to see cars that were used in the movie. This one is from the TV show Entourage, I mean, with the suicide doors. Even a big guy like me would easily fit in there. Look at the, wow, how long this car is. Check this out, wow. And there's like a really cool smell coming out of that car, even though it is a convertible, but it still smells really good with the leather interior. Used in Entourage, now you know. Corvette, Corvette. I really like the yellow color one here with the black. Black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow. Where to look? Left, right, left, right. VW Kübelwagen. They use those in the military here a lot. Never seen a yellow one though. And I think Lady Gaga has this Camaro SS right here. Maybe it is hers. No, it's not, but uh, she has the same one, I believe. I was sitting in her car one day. My friend had to fix it. Look at this color here. What's the name of that color? Green, Phantom Voodoo Green. Wow. Pinstripe. I mean, look at this, how low. How low can you go? Don't tell me. You don't enjoy watching beautiful cars like this. And look at the paint job right here. It's actually like little crystals in there. Wow, love that purple. I think this is one of the cars where Stan Laurel and Oliver Hardy were sitting in. Is that right? All right. 
and they got this little honk right there. Urgh, urgh. We got motorcycles here. Look how low you're gonna ride when you sit in that car. You almost sit right on the ground right here. And there's no, you gotta wear some glasses for sure. Nice, look at this. Is that your car? Nice, beautiful. You ever take it out for a spin? Oh, I drive it everywhere. All right. All over, yeah. I didn't know. I thought like all the car owners, they just put those in the garage because they don't want to drive it. But this looks incredible. Look at those guys. They're actually recording with an old RC camera right there. They go back old school. Influencer, influencer. Never seen a statue like this on a car. It's like Chitty Chitty Bang Bang kind of car. This is fantastic how the Germans made those beautiful cars back in the day. The Mercedes Stern. What? Are you watching my videos? What kind of car are we seeing here? Ford Chevy, all right. He's gonna open it up for us right here. Let's go see underneath the hood. I like watching your videos. What prestige condition? Are you driving the car sometimes? I put five thousand miles on it. All right. It's uh, it's kind of old. Yeah. It's uh, you were at the, the Hollywood show. Yes, I was at the Hollywood show. I want to do that next year. Now everybody's leaving. You hear the sound of the motors. Nice. Man, I missed it. Over 600 cars were here. Another DeLorean. More cleaning, more cleaning. A beautiful girl in the car, in a beautiful car. Life couldn't be any better than that. Another Ghostbuster car. They got the trap right there and they got the drone. Slimer. I mean, look at this display here. Wow. Proton pack. You got the suit, the goggles, the trap, and the shoes, everything here. With the New Yorker license plate. Wow. Who are you gonna call? The Ghostbusters. And off he goes. Tschüssi. You know, sometimes it's even better to see the cars in action. Wow. Look at this woody one here with a surfboard on top. those cars would make it in Germany because they're too loud they would give you a ticket right away this is actually one of my favorite cars I've seen that one in Venice at the car show you got to check this one out this is absolutely incredible let's go I showed you this before look you got the skateboard up there man this is awesome all the little knickknacks he has right here in the car I really dig the license plate wow look at that chain right here what did I tell you you ever seen a steering wheel like this never Look at all the stuff you got in here, man. This is incredible. And I love how it looks, kind of like all rusted. 
He even got like a little bird's nest in there. Look at this. Wow. Like I said, this is by far my favorite car I've seen at the car show. Kind of like a Met Max look to it right here with all the chains. And look at this, it's like a, uh, from the gun, like from, from a shotgun. Wow. Man, like I said, lifting up the car. And here we got another subscriber of the German in Venice. This is Rick right here. He told me he's been watching me for a while, man. Thank yeah, you so much. Few years. And all those car guys, actually, he's actually leaving right now. Woo! What year is this car right here, the Ford? 1928, Rose Pickup. 1928, wow. Super nice. People don't really understand that I got a little relationship with those VW bugs and buses because I grew up in Germany. I used to see those all the time. And you know who made this possible to drive this on the Autobahn? Adolf. He made the Autobahn and he made the Volkswagen. That means it's for the folk, for everybody to afford a VW bug. Pecho de la gasolina. And look, we got the Kirk Douglas Theater right here. He donated this theater. You can still watch movies in here, old movies. How do you actually pick a winner? Those cars are all awesome. How did you like the car show? Culver City has a lot of movie history. Look who is sitting right here on the ground. Stan Laurel and Oliver Hardy on Venice and Barclay. Just in Venice. <laughs> German and Venice. Nice car. We're at the Culver uh, City car show. Yeah, that, I saw you at Chick La Vida, right? You sure did, Chick La Vida. That's right. I was the German uh, engineer that built the giant bicycle. That's right. He had All that right. big bicycle. But look at this nice car he has right here. All right. Well, I guess that was it right here from Culver City. I think I check out Venice Beach. I cannot stay away from Venice, so let's go down there. You see the cyber trucks everywhere now. Oh, what is going on in Venice today? Cold and overcast. She's having a good time here. Danger, work in progress. This is where Angelica Houston used to live right here in this building. She sold it when her husband died. He was actually married to Jack Nicholson before. Man, I love those guys here. The movie Bad Boy is coming out pretty soon. And they actually paint the mural on the wall. But those guys got some mad talent. Look at this. Can I see the picture for a second? Is that possible? Wow. Absolutely incredible. It looks like a photograph, huh? Always wonder if those guys do their own artwork as well. And why don't they just put a post off? That would be way cheaper, I think. But what do I know? This is where they filmed the Barbie movie right here. I'm actually thinking going back to my car and getting my down jacket out. That's how cold it is. Everybody's wearing jackets and sweatshirts. Let's go on a joyride with those police quads. I don't think he's making money today. Cold drinks, Coke, Diet Coke, water, ice cream sandwiches, big stick, fat chickens, potato chips. I was carrying those with my hands. I didn't have a car to pull. I don't think you get cold when you have a body like this. Ooh, it's cold. I bet you those girls go to the waterfront cafe. This place is always packed, I show you. This is the hipster place I was talking about. Look at this place, busy, busy, busy. Everything else is dead on Venice Beach. Only, only this place is packed. It's 
all young people here. A night at the Roxbury. Always something new to see here in Venice. <laughs> Having fun in Venice. Daisy! Daisy! Where are you? Stop it, Mike. It feels weird to be here. It feels like I still own it. It's been a week now and uh, the sign is still up there. This sign is still up there. So I don't know, Monday to Friday, I was always filming and then I worked here Saturday, Sunday. So now it still feels like I just come here and I open it up, but there's nothing there anymore. So I still don't feel it that it's not mine anymore. It's, it's hard to believe, but as long as my sign is up there, this sign is here, I probably feel worse when somebody else is in there. But for now, well, I had some good times here. Hey, look at the park here. Are you missing me, Tico? Oh man, we miss you every day. <laughs> now that I gotta carry all this stuff to my car every day. Yep, and the battery. Who charged the battery now, man? Yeah. Unfortunately, I have to do it. All right. Man, I like your hat right there. Look at this. Arr, arr. Looks like Harry Perry is selling a t-shirt right there. Looks like the Venice sign is still in Cinco de Mayo mood. El Venice. Well, my friends, I'm right back where I started this video in the same spot and I'm going to end the video right here. It was pretty cold in Venice today. They say normally June gloom, but it's not even June yet. It's like May. So it was overcast all day. Earlier here in Culver City, the sun came out a little bit and then later on it got cool too. So before I end this video, I want to wish all the mothers out there from all over the world, happy Mother's Day. I did not send any flowers to my mom because she has so many flowers in her backyard. She said, save it and buy me some flowers when you come back to Germany. So happy Mother's Day. I called my mom already because they're nine hours ahead. They already have Mother's Day over there. Having that said, I still feel a little bit weird filming because I didn't really plan anything. It's kind of like it made a little click when I got rid of my store. I'm not in the best mood. I guess, or I don't know what it is, but I have not planned anything. Normally I plan my videos a little bit, but today that was a random video and I hope you enjoyed it as well. You've been watching me closing down my store. You've been watching me uh, cleaning up my storage. So thank you very much for supporting me. And we'll see, hopefully in the future, I'm gonna plan more videos ahead. So I don't just ramble around like this. And a lot of people actually texted me or left comments. They say, why don't you open up an eBay store? You know, you can sell your artwork on eBay. Dude, I've done it. I've been there. I sold my artwork for Christmas. I did pretty good, but it's also a lot of work. You know, you have to put everything on there. Then you have to send the stuff out. You have to stand in line at the post office. I know I can do all this. I've done it. There's also a lot of people out there, they're not honest. I sent them my artwork, they complained to eBay, they never got it. You know, it got stolen, even though uh, I had them sign for it, you know, that also cost a little bit more money. So all this, they stopped my account before uh, I had to send them some money. There were some issues, I couldn't really do any business because they closed my uh, bank account, so. I don't want to deal with all this stuff. Here I want to do a video. I upload the video and hopefully over time this video people are watching it and I make my money that way. So you never know. Maybe one day I'm going to sell my art again. We'll see. 
But I want to say thank you very much for supporting me. Thank you for watching me. And I see you next time. And it's still early on. It's 8 o'clock right now on a Saturday night. I really want to go out and film something else. But I have to edit this video so you guys can see this video tomorrow. So we'll see what I'm going to do. See you guys later. Just saying.